<risa> sí. Sí, eso fue el segundo South Ross. Dice a Wash Your Pain. Sounds like a Holy God. I want a wish on me. It's mere awkwardy entertainment that the, uh, that the, that the claim they're against. I'm against my list of mediocre entertainment. I do this again. Now let me watch my Star Wars and Battleship and Super Star. And they think it's like some sort of like weird mythology bullshit shit. I mean, what's the sort of style of was like a more or less than fun? These two happiness. These two the dark side is something like that. <laughs> or is it Happiness leads to hatred, uh, was it, was it happiness leads to fun, leads to the dark side, something like that? I, I think you basically said happiness is bad and... Yeah, the, the, really, the little model does this kind of sounds a bit of a crock when you think about it. When you really say a lot, doesn't the, I mean, am I the one that sounds, seems that like that little logo sounds a bit like a, some sort of crock <laughs> that some, some kid actually like, uh, cut off some sort of seal busted and decide to actually write it on a, write it on a piece of cardboard that says, This is the motto of my fan club. The motto, password, heavy and needs to hatred, these to the dark side. What the f that is happiness leads to fun, leads to hatred, leads to the dark side. Uh, you know, I don't know how I can actually say that was actually was. I'm sorry, but I don't know how anyone could actually think to say that and take that seriously and not crack up a bit. <laughs> because. We really hear yourselves, it sounds like a bit of a low crock. Especially when it's something called the force. <laughs> it actually is kind of funny when you think about it because like you, you know, like you could be like forcing a Bowser. <laughs> and uh Jedi's a funny was a funny like lightsabers. That's also the name of a candy, a hard candy. <laughs> Mint uh, you, yes. Uh, have you had those lightsaber candies? <laughs> yes. Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about this. <laughs> it's kind of funny because South fans are like mild fans. Is what mild fans of worship is boring crap. <laughs> what Star Wars fans <laughs> they're, they're worshiping me already. <laughs> because the the issues because they're on the same level <laughs> because they're pretty much on the same level as quality mindless entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Milo's mediocrity is like this is the way to dig swallow the hash down the throat and into the stomach. Sometimes you need a little bit of mindless violence and it can still be considered good. <laughs> oh no, I almost remember. But best of all, every film ever made has some sort of big headed ego that we're trying to say something deep and thought provoking. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. Actually, in all my piece, he says, Oh, we hate this film because 
it really comes off so silly and childish when and really wants to do this, but uh, really, that's pretty much almost every film ever made it, it, of all time. You know, you gotta really hate on it, like, really, just because you're bored out of your mind. <laughs> And I'm... <laughs> yeah, man. So... Yeah, that seems to be like a lot of common things what PXG would hate on for something. This because oh it comes off face silly and uh got and mindless and, and it comes off face stupid and, and not as sophisticated as it does um or it goes it comes this way it comes off that way at the other end um that's kind of about almost every film ever made of all time in fact every film that you uh, I don't know go pick off a DVD rack or for or pick off or as a Blu-ray, or buy, or run, I don't know, whatever you do, or run on TV. Um, 9% it has some sort of ego that it thinks is a bit, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit, it think it's saying a bit more than it is. Which is just about almost every film ever made. <laughs> Yeah, and the thing is, um, it doesn't always like it often often flies over the audience's heads that uh, it thinks it's trying to be more than is. Uh, yeah. So, why do people actually, like, uh, why do so many Star Wars fans act like some, that was some sort of deep, thought-provoking, Bible, I don't know, like, misogyny things? Well, because they're misguided fools. <laughs> That's my biggest guess, because... I mean, and <laughs> because you don't want to admit that's just I don't like something is because I I don't like I don't like I I only don't like sophisticated stuff like Star Wars. Okay, sounds very deep, but my thought is sophisticated. And, you're a very wise guy. Honestly, I thought Yoda was kind of a bit of an annoying little asshole. <laughs> I know a lot of people just says, oh, honestly, I always thought Yoda was so annoying. Mm. I hit you in the head! <laughs> I'm Yoda! I'm Yoda! I'm annoying those shit! Shut up out to there! Get off, shut up! God, shut up. Mm. I mean, he's pretty much also a, a very abusive to his students. <laughs> I mean, he practically kind of abuses, like, his <laughs> and he was like, saying, shut up, shut up, I'm, shut up, shut up, I'm a little shit, I'm a naughty little shit, <laughs> I'm a wise old fat. <laughs> I am, shut up. <laughs> At least that's why I remember what the what what him actually ba basically doing the most of my time. I think he basically did that with everyone. Personally, I thought it was kind of like the most annoying thing out of the out of the uh, second Star Wars movie ever made. <laughs> I mean, I always thought like Yoda was kind of a bit of like a little annoying little ass. <laughs> Yeah.
I mean, I know a lot of people actually really love Yoda, but really? This. Anyway, it's nighttime. Um.